damn, you did photo shoot for Gucci? Damn, you did riding around on getting it for, for two chains? Damn, you, you did, did spend it? You I didn't did, even know you did spend it. See what I'm saying? Oh my damn, God. you did you did Here I Am for Rick Ross? Yo, my whole world stopped. You know Spend It is one of my top ten favorite rap songs. Right around my side of town, boxing gloves. I Bro. beat the trial. I had the coke. I had a smile. Hey. Oh my god! I had a coat for every style. Crocodile, the gator type. I'm a look. I can do the whole thing. Bro, how many times has Drake said, "Get to shaking something"? Cause that's what drama produced it for. People still don't know. Oh shit! You did money to blow. This is before Drake got any music out, man. If I can goddamn head him in the right direction, what the fuck? If my shit ain't proven, why the fuck they want to keep playing with me? That's why I'm like, man, we ain't done no verses yet. When I seen the first verses, shout out to Boy Wonder, shout out to uh, all of the producers who did get able to go. I like the producer like, ones like, a lot. Like, come on, bro, y'all ain't would, called me yet. That's would, because they don't know. I swear to God, I know Swiss Beats don't know my whole catalog. Mm -hmm. Timberland can't know my whole catalog. That's a really good point, yeah, because with you being in the background for so long, like the way Swiss and Timberland have, have you know, for a long time, put themselves in the front. You're right. People might overlook a lot of what you've done. I or just not know. You can't overlook something that you don't know. Yeah, it's true. I didn't know you did spend it. You I just never saying? looked into who did spend it. That's always been one of my favorite joints. But I always looked at producers when it was this. I'd open the album, read the book. Exactly. That's exactly. why I knew about you on Thug Motivation, on like most of your work. But with spend it, I never copped it on an album. Right. So I, right. this fuck Even with Plies, Shawty, Shawty, damn, you did that song? Was in my pocket, dog, big face hunted, damn. Damn, there's not song? many producers who could step with you. Wiz Khalifa versus. bluffing. Like, but wait, in a on, versus, man. like, who would it be? It would have to be somebody. Man, whoever y'all wanted to be, man, yeah, I can't tough, wait. Man. I, just, I just want my flowers, you know what I'm saying? I want my sales, my, my 200% to go up. Once they realize who the <laughs> fuck the man in behind this shit is over with. So when they do do these verses, watch. You know what I'm saying? I Drum probably, I probably, I probably make $10 else. million dollars after their verses, man. Wow. Swear to God. We gonna make this happen. Drummer <laughs> boy, you see, the only problem is, is I'll say what I see the problem being. Your your uh, your his like your track record, the things you've done are much more than what people realize. So if they put you up there like drummer boy, to say for Swiss Beats, people are gonna be like, oh, he's gonna get blown out. But that's not what you knowing, want. you're really gonna come twenty hits. Right, but that but, but but most of the people who you gonna name is still all like five, seven, ten, fifteen years older than me, dog. Yeah. Like who the fuck you gonna find my age? That's fucking with me. In, in, like you gonna even some younger cats. Y'all gonna have to go younger and find like like you know what I'm saying. Mike Will ain't even in my. He still a little bit. That ain't you know he he probably eight years after me, seven years yeah. after me. Metro Boom is seven years after me. Maybe Son, uh, Zaytoven. Maybe Zaytoven is ahead of me. Zaytoven is uh, I think Zaytoven is forty three. Yeah, yeah Zay Zaytoven like, 43, so Zaytoven six years older than me. You guys, like, were crafting the sound kind of, not like side by side, I don't think you guys were in the rooms together, but around the same time. So like you oh, guys yeah, 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 Zay, Zay, is, Zay is Trap Founder certified. Me, so, Zay. I can see that. I can see you and Zay. Toom, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, Toom, um, man. But see, again, Toom, Zay, both of them is at least six plus years older than me. You know what I'm saying? Juicy That's J. That's crazy. Like, I, 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 I've been hearing a lot of Juicy J. Like, I, I really want somebody from my city. You know what I'm saying? But who who the yeah, fuck gonna Juicy go against me in my city? DJ Juicy Paul J. Be tough. Eh, Juicy J and DJ Paul fit in the same category. Yeah. So I think it'll be a little bit more interesting. I, I'll take both of them. You could put DJ Paul and Drummer Juicy Boy J. verse 3 6 Mafia. Yeah. Hell yeah, fucking Damn, yeah. That's confident. Because man. my shit is all over the place. Oh, I wait, got, hold I got, on. If they bring Project Pat, it's going to be a problem. I think Project Pat is man. so fucking dope and underappreciated. I mean, as far as the level of where I went worldwide with my music, I, I got over 100 million records sold. Yeah, that's true. No, and as a, so, you can't you know hit I mean? an artist against a producer. Those are two different things. Like, but, but, but DJ Paul and Juicy J are producers. They made all the yeah, beats to all of their yeah. hits, you know? I'm saying? It's kind of like a Manny Fresh situation where when Manny Fresh did his battle, he ain't get the just do and credit because he he his sound was like in one city. Mm. But you got to look at what Manny Fresh did, dog. He's oh holding God. a whole fucking label down himself. He's the in-house yes. producer producing all this shit, number one. And he an artist. And he being vocal. See, 
That's the that's the that's the secret. Most producers who are vocal on their tracks, Jazzy got me into that, putting the A hey, yeah boys on the music and making sure that I'm involved in the songs and rapping and why you know that? what I mean? What because now you see my reason? face. Oh, that's what now Jazzy you said? you know what I mean? When you hear John on the track, yeah, you know, he made yeah. his impact. You you got to learn his face too. Yeah, okay. Then he started coming out doing his shit in comedy shows. I remember Cat William brought him out, and that's another. Oh, that's Lil John. Yeah. That a, oh, that's Lil John. Show. Damn. Oh, that's Lil John. Became Chappelle a show. Meme. He went he crazy. He became a meme before memes. Yeah. I used to go to middle school, high school. Whenever Chappelle came out, all the homies. First thing we'd say is what. And we'd yeah. sit there and do that for like six minutes. Yeah. No one would even be talking. We'd just be laughing in little John mannerisms. Yeah. And, and John getting his just due. Jazzy, 10 years older than me. John, 10 years older than me. Juicy, Paul, 10 years older than so me. So you feel so, untouchable in your age range? Like, I mean, I feel untouchable, period. Like I said, I go against Jazzy. Hell I already yeah, did that. We, we, we did, me and Jazzy did a reality show, Welcome to Dreamland. Who yeah, won? Yeah, yeah. Who won? Okay, I didn't you know see what I'm saying? You won, you Man, me and Zaytoven did a battle, BMI. We did a beat battle. Who won? You took out Zay in a beat battle? Man, listen, man. Hey, Zaytoven, it's all love. We got nothing yeah, to Yeah, that's my you. brother. That, hey, Zay know what's happening. No, you guys got a lot in common, bro. When I was yeah. reading your bio, I th kept thinking, like, am I reading fucking Zaytoven's bio? Because I interviewed him like a year ago. And there's a lot of similarities in your parents being heavily involved in music. Oh, yeah. Giving that to you guys at a young age. And both the my favorite part about you and Zaytoven, you specifically, because how early you started, is yeah. the classical part of it. The oh, clarinet, yeah. the horns. That's yeah. why them horns go so hard on standing ovation, because you understood the instrument. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like when you got two people shooting a gun, it's not the same. Yeah, you, know, you, know you understood how to hit them horns. Oh yeah, then I, I'm I'm in a club with it and I'm on the radio with it. See, see that was that's the dangerous part about me. I was so underground for so long. Once I got my 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 smell of being on the billboard, I ain't let go. Mm. This billboard money's a whole different money. That club shit cool. You really yeah. haven't let go. You hey. haven't taken no time off. No, nah, we haven't. Like them club records is cool. I love having club records. That's cool, but. I look at the money that I made from club records and I look at the money I made from radio, from pop. I got pop hits. Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's two different things. And I took trap to pop. Give me an example of like taking trap to pop. I put on for my city. Yeah, that's true. That was a, that, that shit feel you know more than like a motherfucker. You know, I keep that white girl. Yeah. Only thing held back, or white girl was Don Amos. Nappy headed hoes, mm. da 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 da. It was a controversial yeah. moment. But I mean, if anything, thank God that happened to get him out. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? He had to pull up his skirt. Oh, yeah. You oh, know? yeah. But I mean, no hands. Like, bro, walk ahead. I go hard in the paint. And I was like, okay, cool. That's a huge club record, right? But we got to please the women. Mm -hmm. We got to go around the world. You want to make $30 million? Okay, girl, drop it to the floor. I love the way your booty go. Everybody was laughing at Roscoe. Reese's, man, shout out to Reese. Gucci had just got out of jail. This was one of Gucci's sessions. Gucci still was like, man, thank you. How y'all make a hit bigger than mine in my own studio session? <laughs> man, y'all gave my artist his biggest hit, but Gucci's so fun and loving, like, yeah. man, and appreciative, like, you know what I'm saying? But Reese had Roscoe Dash and Wale, everybody looking like, man, what y'all got them niggas in here for? For real, for real, that's what, that's, that was what people were saying, like, man, you know, walk a real street nigga and da 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 and we go hard in the paint. I'm like, okay, that's cool, but. When I go in the club or when I go in the arena, you want to do clubs, we getting five, seventy, five hundred, ten thousand a show. Or you want to do these arenas where we getting thirty, fifty thousand a motherfucking show. Come on, bro. Yeah. What are we talking it's about? A much bigger picture. Yeah. So and you, you know, delivered, man. Executed like a motherfucker. Hey, come on. That's that's what that's what I'm here to do. You know what I'm saying? Even Rick Ross. I remember we wearing the big white T-shirts. I remember his first show in Memphis, performing. Every day I'm hustling four, five times in a row to keep the crowd. Yeah, that one. You know that. what I mean? Bam. Okay, so we 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 go from T-shirt to man. Let's put on a tuxedo, my nigga. Let's bring out a white tiger. Let's 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 play the piano. Let's yeah. let's. You know what I mean? Who did that? I talked Rick Ross into dropping. Here I am over luxury tax. That wasn't no A and R. That wasn't wow. no management. That's me. So wait, you helped put? Are you kind of guided Rick Ross to this CEO look? Cause he from on that record, not not his look. Oh, I'm yeah, not his it, stylist. Got it, got it, got it, I don't, you know what I'm saying. On this particular record, Rick Ross Luxury came record. out with speeding with 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 uh, R. Kelly. R. Kelly. They lost a lot of money on that record. They put a lot of money into that first video. 
So if you remember, that was you too, drummer. No, I didn't okay. do. I, I didn't do that first. No, no, I didn't do speed. I'm just giving you the the, the yeah, temperature yeah, it, of it, this it, moment. It. So after speeding goes, the label is like, shit. What we gonna come with next? We gotta find a hustling to find another single because speeding wasn't doing it the way it was supposed to. So he came back with, I'm the biggest boss that I seen thus far. Mm -hmm. Shit takes off. Yep. So this is like the official first single. It's technically the second single, but that was the song that took off and Absolutely. started pushing Speed and on the Triller album. Song, yeah. You see what I'm saying? After that, they about to roll into the, the, the third single, which was gonna be Luxury Tax. He had Lil Wayne and, and uh, Young Jeezy on, mm -hmm. Luxury Tax. You spend a lot of money on the features, I get it. I did the video, he was like, man, it's gonna be the next single drum. And I was like, bro, trust me on this. Drop this shit with Nelly. You gonna have the girls, you gonna have the ladies, and Avery Storm, but don't nobody really know Avery. It don't matter. Oh, got a pocket you know? my hundreds on yeah. her. Da, 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 da. Hey. Here, I Here I am. am. And yeah. bro, this is the ladies anthem. Wow, you a genius, man. You're right. That was like the right record to drop. You know what I mean? Yeah, that was a So that one no A and R, that was that was Rick Ross trusting me and like, I right, bet. When I told him what what I needed for the bread. The money was in my account within 15 minutes. Rick Ross and Birdman, the two people who didn't pay me within 20 minutes. Oh, but I've heard so many stories of Birdman not paying people for 20 minutes. That's because years. they don't, you don't got your respect. Think about it. Who, whatever producer complained about Birdman, they probably ain't got the respect that they deserve, or they probably did mm. some fuck shit, or they probably just didn't know how to handle they shit at the time. Maybe they didn't have a lawyer. Maybe they didn't have the right so entertainment lawyer. Birdman but pays his Birdman people. paid me. I can't okay. speak on who he paid. No, I, I just, I just speak on me. Of, like, I'm gonna put respect on Birdman's name. Bird. Hey, Birdman, my, my dog. Master P, my dog. They, hey, Master oh, P, the, are... the third man who done paid me within 20 minutes. That's you know what I'm saying? And that's crazy that both of them from New Orleans, but I done got paid from and Jay Prince. That's 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 four. All the boss. Those are three. Of the, yeah, the most top, boss people. Yeah. that If they didn't want to pay you. You can't really say much because it's Jay Prince. You're gonna be if, if any, if I think about it. Anybody sure. who I've never paid is because I I didn't respect them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you don't deserve that. I feel like you ain't do your job. I feel like you cheated me out of situation. So fuck no, nah, I'm not paying you. And if you got a problem with it, pull up. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's Damn. the difference. Can you handle the business? Yay or nay? With the top big dogs in the game and have their respect. Master P, pick up the phone for me. Bird, pick up the phone. It don't matter. Ross, Rose, whatever. Every time I see Rose, hey, drum, what's up, boy? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 40th birthday party with Yo Gotti just out here in LA, man. Everybody happy to see you. Yeah. It ain't about no beats, it's about the spirit. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Every beat that I made came from my emotion, came from my brain, and came from me. So if I, it all is a part of me, then when they meet me, they gonna love me. You yeah. see what I'm saying? But if you making beats off of loops, other niggas middies, uh, other Preach. niggas samples and all Preach. of this, now you, you, you dishing out other people's spirits. So when they meet you, you might not be as real as what your beats sound like. Your beats sound more real than you. Wait, let's speak on this really quick. Like, this like that's thing. backwards. So when I meet you, you lame as fuck, but your beats sound real. Uh, so what kind of shit is that? That's crazy, okay, because this has been a thing in hip hop since, you know, they, people used to accuse Dr. Dre of having teams of young producers who, you know, Yeah, but whatever. Dr. Dre gave his team credit. No, of course, of course, of If course. somebody else did the beat, I'm gonna give you credit. Don't act like you did the shit. So it, do you work with younger producers and have yeah, yeah, we just signed a young producer. Shout out to Questionizer. But you give them their shine. Shout I'll, out to Chris Beach. Shout out to Northside. Okay, shout out to Tate Keith, Metro Booming. Man, I was getting beats from all of them. And I always gave other pe producers they shine. They, they, because they you shine. hear stories of like, for example, like uh, Knotts making beats for Timberland and taking a few years for him to kind of get in the forefront. Yeah. Um, so you you feel like what keeps you so authentic authentic is that your music's always yours like you're not using my, another I, young I producer write my own beat. music period yeah well I you're I like don't, i don't need ghost you're producers. more than a beat maker you're a composer you have literally orchestrated an nba halftime show oh yeah that absolutely. shit ain't easy man it's not conducted the orchestra you know what i mean the whole nine you know what i mean yeah so man it's, drama it's, man i'm <laughs> i'm in awe of everything you've done i'm inspired like i'm gonna go home tonight get back on for Rudy Loops, because you know you yeah. you just reminded me that there's no fucking excuse. It's no for man. It don't matter what doll you for use. This long, oh yeah, you dominating. You haven't been in music. You've been dominating music for 20 years, 20 plus years. But I want to ask about a, a, a time in music where you might have saw something crazy. 
you were working, you and Zay Tovin both, but you specifically very heavily worked with Jeezy and Gucci. Did you ever, were you ever in the middle of anything between them? Did anything ever happen? Like nah, hell no. Nah. Again, and, because of how they respect me, Gucci loved me like a brother. You know what I'm saying? Pound for pound, Jeezy and Gucci love each other like a brother. But it's the entourage. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, when you really in this shit, you really know what's going on. So people outside are like, man, how you do that shit, man? How you work with Jeezy and Gucci? Because we was our brothers from the get-go, nigga. Yeah, yeah. The fuck? But you never experienced, you were never at the studio I've been in the club. Jeezy and Gucci came. Or nah, I, I done been around all that. You know what I'm saying? I done been with Jeezy and BMF in the middle of this and that and woo-woo-woo. And I, I just earned my respect. I earned my stripes. So a nigga will never come to me talking about who I should work with, who I need to stop working with. Man, as soon as you come talking to me about that, now you exposing how lame you are. Mm. You know what I'm saying? What 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 y'all got going on ain't got to do with shit about who producing the beats. Gucci so real when I came out with uh I put on for my city and I put on had just played on the radio. I had a session with Gucci that week. You and know what I'm saying? And I probably had just did time, right? they they was they was in the middle of their beef, yeah. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, the situation happened between Goo where he had to defend himself and blah blah blah. So bam. I put on, come on, come out. You know, I did, first song I did with Gucci was, it's a photo shoot, girl, it's a photo shoot. You know what I mean? Coming out for the girls. On the LA beat, if you listen to that beat, that's like a LA club vibe. That ain't really no trap music. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I make I make trappers try different type of beats. I wasn't just feeding them trap beat, trap G, trap beat. Same thing with Lose My Mind. That's a LA club is, type of beat. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Cause yeah. I had so much respect for LA. I love LA. Yeah, you, you know love what I mean? LA. Like Dre, you love all like Dre, Warren G, LA, the reg that. regulator, Snoop Dogg, yeah. you know what I'm saying? DJ Quick. So many of the producers in the production out here. Rance, 1500. Mm -hmm. I love Ooh, them. Rance, my guy, Rance, Mars. Man. Just real music. They real musicians. So yeah. I give musicians they yeah. respect. Justice League, some of my favorite producers. I love everyone you're naming, up to Quick, to Dre are actual musicians. Oh yeah. Like if you actually took hip hop away, organized noise or nothing would still be doing orchestras in America. 1500 Absolutely nothing is going crazy right they now. Rance posted some shit last week. The, the thing that they doing with the community, giving back to the to the with the Sound Academy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Major the interviews. Love Rance, my guy Mars. Yeah. Everyone from 1500 or nothing. Absolutely. We got to give them their flowers. Absolutely. We had to give Scarface his flowers. I seen him on Drink Champs and yep. I, I just was like, man, he, he's one of those cats in hip hop, Scarface, who like hasn't been given his flowers properly. And I don't want us to wait for, you know, what happened to DMX for us to do that. So right. Scarface, nothing but love, man. Inspired right. generations. Uh, Drummer Boy, man, you got years of knowledge, years of experience decades of success and what's crazy to me is bro is it just beginning in it's my just eyes? beginning bro it's, it's, everything i did then is like a kid you know what i mean and some of those beats is cool i feel like out of all of them my favorite is here i am you know i'm here sick here i am the roster yeah that's one of my favorites just because i had really? the mpc i had the live bass i got the piano and it, was different. I got, nah, nah, nah. it was just music when I remember that, that beat. Like, yeah. that was the first song my mama called me and was like, hey, I like this one, baby. Your mama called, here I am. Like, I, I like this one, baby. Mama you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I come from the church. So when you can still make the church happy and the streets happy at the same time, bro, I don't know what it, what it is about it, but it's, mm. a, it's an incredible feeling. You yeah. know what I mean? Man, so. well, it's, it's an incredible feeling just to sit next to you, grab all this information. Uh, one thing we're gonna highlight here is nobody's fucking with Drummer Boy in a versus. <laughs> so call your favorite producer, someone get Swiss on the phone, get Timbo on the phone. They're on, not man. fucking with Drummer Boy. Oh, yeah. I believe it, especially because now that you brought up Spend It, I gotta go back and do my research. Oh, and yeah. I can't imagine how many records you. You touched. can go through the Wikipedia alone, like. That's what that's what that's what's so dangerous long, about bro. me. I got I got, a, I, got a, I got a real underground catalog. Mm -hmm. Then I still got a real mixtape catalog. Then then I I got a mean single catalog. And then you got the Billboard catalog. Then you got the Billboard shit. So it's like I don't know. You know, it's a it's it's a lot of it's a plethora. Yeah. Of sound. And I think yeah. that's what made me so dangerous. Like I can jump into any. I can. I got country records. I got. 
pop. I got, you got country trap. records. I got I got reggae. Shout out to Dabby though. We just did a record yeah, with Dabby you. though and and Dexter Daps with yeah. the scripture record. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we did another Wi-Fi, record called right? Wi-Fi. That Wi-Fi record was super dance hall reggae. I was oh, actually yeah. gonna ask you if you produced that. So you oh did. yeah, yeah. Me and Chris Beach. Shout out to Chris Beach. That's a collab. On your last album, you had Tay Keith did a beat, right? And because yep. you're doing like more of the artistry on your last album. Yeah. Uh, how was that like being just the artist in the room or did you still have your hands it's, on the production? Nah, like, you know what I'm saying? I've always found a way to express myself through Welcome to My City, volume one, volume two, volume three. Mm-hmm. Uh, when I lost my brother, I found, mm-hmm. I, I just found a way to be verbal. Rest in peace. You know, he said insane. Insane Wayne. Wayne. Rest in I peace, insane be able, Wayne, man. I, I wouldn't have been able to talk to y'all the same way musically you just would have been imagining what i was saying mm. so my brother's keeper album if you haven't heard my rap project that's my like one of my first solo projects that i just jumped in and 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 did and dedicated to him you know what i mean and i actually started my brother's estate off of that project wow you know what i mean so it's that's crazy huge. like you know just e- even doing a record like i'm on world star when q r.i.p q you know what i'm saying comes to atlanta shoots the video brains cabana lust Look at I'm on World Star, my rap video. French Montana wasn't even out like that. He in the video. Wow. You know what I mean? Some I gotta everybody go back was and see that. So it's a French Montana in my in feature. That. Oh yeah, I'm on World Star. We had everybody in the video. Q mm. was like, bro, you gonna be the next thing. Da 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 da. We gotta come capture this moment. They paid for the video. They put me on World Star. They did all wow. that. So it was crazy. Like soon as I started rapping, here come the sponsorships. Here come the. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Here come the, the like the other Different opportunities bags. that I wasn't getting yeah. behind the scenes as a producer. Now Sprite wanna work. Now McDonald's wanna work. Now, you know, I did a song for uh XYO, a cryptocurrency in 2017. Man, that shit was 0. .003 cents when I did the the, the, did the deal. And they gave me oh yeah, they paid crypto? me forty thousand in crypto oh. and they gave me another forty thousand to work the record, oh. a marketing budget. What year was this? 2017. I ain't gonna oh say what, what my, my what my crypto God. portfolio looking like. We're not gonna do that. We're not going back. No, and no, forth. no, no. I didn't want to go to that. I just want to say. <laughs> but like, yeah, it, it's looking real good. I real think right good. now it's like uh, 13 cents. Drummer boy got paid in crypto in 2017. That is one of the smartest things I heard from a producer. Absolutely. I go never listen heard to the producer. song. I'm telling you. Then you know what I'm saying. X Y O. This that X Y O. You know what I'm saying. Wow. And, and just motivating people Drama, to invest in cryptocurrency. You are uh, you are a leader. You are a, a leader amongst men. You know what I mean? You've you've separated yourself from your peers, and I I can't fucking wait to see you. To me, you're in your Quincy Jones bag now. Now you gotta hit that later half of your career because Quincy discovered Michael. He was probably like forty. Yeah. Fifty. You know what I mean? And so yeah. Thriller came out at fifty. I don't know exactly when they met. But shit, I ain't even you hit 40 I mean? yet, so, I'm, so I, I gotta make it to 40 first. I'm excited, man. I'm gonna <laughs> manifest this right here. I think you're gonna find in the next five, 10 years, you're Michael. And what I mean by that is, I think as you kind of transcend more into a A&R executive, um, I think you're gonna find some artist that's gonna be your perfect voice. That to me was what Michael was. Michael was the perfect voice, dance moves, and everything for what Quincy had in his head. Yeah. No, no one else could have done all this and that the right way. Right. Because a lot of that was Quincy. Like Thriller was more Quincy Jones's idea than Michael's. Oh yeah. Down to the video. Oh yeah. And so I, I, I want to manifest this. Like maybe you've already found him or her, but I'm excited to see. In addition to what you do in the forefront, I'm excited to see who your Michael Jackson is. Who your, you know what I mean? Your magnum opus of like an artist that you're gonna just create a legacy yes, with. I appreciate Man, that, bro. Man, drummer boy. Wake up out now. Wake up out now. My first single, Still Can't Believe It, featuring Derez Deshaun, produced by me and Scott Storch. That was my first time working with Scott Storch out here recently. Wow, shout we got out the Scott. behind the scenes on our YouTube channel. Y'all subscribe. Drum Squad TV, uh, verified and everything on YouTube. Yep. I think Drum got- Squad's gonna take over. You yes, said sir. it earlier. Drum Squad will be the next Def Jam. Yes, sir. So That's definitely check out the first single. The behind the scenes is Still Can't Believe It. Me and Scott Storch and Derez Deshaun at his mansion out here in LA Ooh, going I crazy. Go see that. So watch Scott, the behind the scenes. Scott scene. on them keys. Oh doing man, Scott dance. with the joint in his hand. Big ass joint in his yeah. hand. I was about to say that. Big <laughs> ass joint. He don't play one wrong note. It's Even his wrong notes sound amazing, They're man. Right Shout out notes. to Scott Storch. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Steve LaBelle. Shout out to my manager, Squeak. 
Tamar Judah, my publicist. Um, and yeah, man, go download the official Drummer Boy app in your app store and Google The Play. Drummer Boy app? What yeah, is the Drummer Boy app I got my own app, app exclusive me? content from me. Hell yeah. You can also tune into our podcast. I started the podcast with my homegirl from Memphis, Jessica Dime, a.k.a. Dime Peace. Uh, hey. The name of the podcast is Beauty and the Beats. Anytime you want to record in L.A., you know, Oh yeah, a, this absolutely. is a home for you. Come absolutely, we absolutely. Got, we we'll, got studios inside. We got a basketball court. You can go shoot your whole uh, podcast yeah. on the court. Yeah, hell yeah. You know, nah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna take you up on that, man. You heard that dime. You heard yeah, that hey, Beauty hey. and the Beast podcast. My squad, my assistants. Y'all, hey, we coming to LA. Call us. Call us. Straight Drama up. boy, man. I'm gonna give you your flowers while you're here. You are a. I don't want to. I hate to say the word. You are a legend because that insinuates you're done. But you are a legend. You are like, this is like watching LeBron in year 12, year 14. You're not year 18, Bron, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. You, I'm, I'm so fucking excited to see what the next chapter of, you know, your label, your own artistry. Um, I'm just excited, man, and, and I'm going to go listen to Spend It right now. I'm oh, going to yeah. go upstairs, ride around okay. my side of town. Boxing gloves, I beat hey. the trial. I'll never forget when he <laughs> said... Uh, Give your girl back nine months after that. Yeah. Similar. Similar. Hey. He said. Uh, the, the setup, well, it's crazy. The setup for that record was Boo. So the three records I did on that project, True Religion, was Boo. Uh, I don't know a whole name. Keep it on the low, man. All I eat is low, man. I didn't. I don't remember that. That one. was one of the songs on that project. Uh, walk in and I turn up. Oh yeah. In and I, I turn, turn up. up. I did that song and then I did the uh, round around. I'm getting it. So it was three songs. He was done with the tape and was like, damn, I ain't got John Boy on the tape. He recorded the whole tape at my house. And he didn't have you on it. Yet. And he ain't have me on it. So he was like, damn, well, shit. Let me hear some shit. We did them three songs back to back. How did you meet Two Chains? Sorry to extend this, but I got—I didn't know. I that. met Two Chains, like uh, that. just bouncing around. Like I would always be at a gas station. Or but be how at did a, he get to record at your house? How did you guys get? We that was time? cool. Like I was pulling up on Two Chains' uh, grandma's house. You know oh what I'm saying? shit! So when he was staying with his grandma, I used to pull up over there. You know what I'm saying? Off Metropolitan or some something, something so you like knew that. Him when he was Titty Boy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I knew. Yeah, 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 yeah. I knew. Okay. Titty Shout for out sure. to that man, cause y'all, y'all, like I still have vivid memories of my life with Spend It. Oh, like yeah. a girl that we used to like, me and her after this date, she would anytime she hits me, she's like riding around and getting it. Yeah. Cause that was the time the record came out. The whole date, that's all I played. Yeah. Thirty minutes of driving around the beach, <laughs> TCH, yeah. riding around and like getting it. Hey, you was literally living up to the song. I know, man. Hey, man. Thanks <laughs> to you, man. So I can't wait to just. Man, I just can't wait to see what, what you have in store next because I don't think I'm ready or the game's ready. Oh, yeah. These labels aren't ready. The yeah. Grammys aren't ready. Tap into our podcast, man. R.I.P. Chucky Thomas. We just interviewed Chucky. I just did a oh, session with rest Chucky. Rest in peace, Chucky, man. You know what I'm saying? I just wow. did like 15 tracks with Chucky, and it, wow. it just really threw me off. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, damn. damn, we just had Tammy Rivera. We just interviewed Angie Stone. We've had... Angie uh, Stone. I uh, wish I did it. Uh, wow, wow. Yeah, so, you know, the interviews have Shout been incredible. Swiss. He did that beat. So, like, yep. weird, right? Oh, yeah, that's crazy. But wait, Chucky, you got, you just did 15 records with Chucky, you know. You Behind think, the scene footage in the studio. Rest in peace to him. And uh, I think it's really sad that he was one of those people who we didn't give him his flowers as a community, like me as a fan. I don't, like, I listen to Craig Mack, Welcome to 1994, all the fucking time. But I never took that extra step to like tag him and be like, yo, this dude's so hot. So. Or or Biggie, small, like dead oh, wrong. Faith or Evans, Mary. Faith Evans, I mean, my life. Like, yeah. bro, this, this dude did one mic for Nas. I mean, Do you he, think we're going to hear any of these records you guys did? Oh, yeah. He, he had a couple requests, so I'm going I'm to live up. I'm, a, I'm always my brother's keeper, and I make things happen that, that my brothers want to happen. Okay, um, I can't that, wait to hear those. So I'm, I'm going to execute. I know you are. Well, drummer boy, thank you so much. Yes, this was Dash Radio, your boy my, my wand with the historic, legendary, the on fire, the fucking meteor, like every word I can think of, man. Drummer boy, listen to Wake Up Now, Lil Got It in Collision. Yes, and uh, check out that Wi-Fi too if you're trying to get your little dance hall oh, yeah. on, man. Hey, and scripture. I did a record with 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 Dexter Daps and DeVito. Scripture, I missed that. I didn't see it when I was. This is up. this is Jamaica and Africa. Wow, you Jamaica, know what I mean. Jamaica, Africa meets in Memphis. Yeah, come on. So yeah. go get that. You know what I'm saying. And uh, definitely download the app, Drummer Boy official app in App Store and Google Play. Absolutely, everybody. This is your boy Mywan Dash Radio, and we're out. <laughs>